Hey guys, Tim from Droid Life here. Today we wanted to go over the new camera APK that was released with Android 4.2. And basically, um, the APK was stripped from a system dump of the Nexus 4. Some developers messed around and got it working for the Galaxy Nexus last night, but today some of the force close issues for Photosphere and the gallery were fixed. So I have it loaded up on my Galaxy Nexus, um, which is running 4.1.2, I think. And yeah, so I flashed it through a custom recovery and it seems to be working pretty well. So we'll just go over kind of the new UI and um, here in a little bit, it's kind of raining, but I'll go outside and I'll try out this photosphere, photosphere so we can see how that works. Um, basically, I'll just open it up like any other camera app and there it is. So right off the bat, you can see that there's no more gray bar and a thumbnail of your previous picture to go into the gallery, but instead you just kind of swipe right which will take you to the gallery, and you can see I kind of have my photosphere already. It's pretty bad though, because um, it was just my test. But either way, um, no more gray bar, and just snap pics. When you focus, it kind of brings up that circle and does a little nifty move there. No more uh, box that was getting kind of stuck. I think this one works uh, quite a bit better. Um, to get into settings, you just long press on it, and you can choose between which camera you're using. You can get your flash settings other settings for um, what resolution you want, exposure settings, um, and other system settings for the camera. Um, if you go in here you can actually go, there we go, um, you can actually have it on the screen and not where you have to hold it down like that. So that's nice. And then you can also, um, down there in the bottom right, you go from your camera to video to panorama mode to your photosphere. And that photosphere is pretty awesome. Um, we'll just select it real quick. So basically, to start it out, it gives you just a place to start. And it always kind of wants it at a, uh, a good axis once that got tilted up. And more. More even, jeez. And oh, this is terrible. We're just going to have to wait till we go outside and play with that. Either way, other than that, um, it works pretty darn well. I haven't really ran into any issues. Um, it's quick. It's not too too slow. I mean, the Galaxy Nexus camera could, you know, always use some work. So it's not bad. We'll take it outside here and we'll go give the Photosphere a shot. Hey guys, Tim here from Droid Life, and um, so we're outside. It's still raining, but we're gonna try out. Uh, I'm gonna try and give you an example on Photosphere. Um, Please excuse my bad camera work because I'm not going to bring my tripod out here. Why am I in my music app? Uh, I'm not going to bring my uh, tripod out here to try and capture it. So here we go. We're going to go into Photosphere. <gasps> One-handed. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I just have to... There we go. So it wants me to align with that one dot, and then you give it a second. All right, and then you get the first one. Then you just move it to where you want to go. Sorry, I'll try and make this very la <laughs> as unshaky as possible. So as you can see, when you move into a direction, it shows you where it wants you to align the blue dot. And you can go really any direction you want. You can keep going up or you can go down. And uh, there's some real science behind it, but I don't know it. Um, so far, I've been having a lot of fun just snapping pics with it. And uh, it's the first time I've been able to get outside and try it out. But so then, oh, I'll stop moving this one. So then you can kind of move it around and tilt, and you'll get a real cool experience. Um, I'm kind of, you know, I'm learning it too, so this is fun. So yeah, here we go. All right, I'll stop moving this camera and I'll just move this one. Um, let's see if I can focus in on it. So yeah, you can see the woods behind my house. Um, and yeah, you just tilt it and you can see what's going on. And then so basically in the new gallery app, that which kind of is forced closing a little bit, um, you can really get the 3D experience that this kind of brings. And they were saying that you're going to be able to kind of um, partner it with other services from Google, like Google Maps, and you'll be able to... Um, kind of upload it so other people can see it on Google Maps possibly. So we'll see what happens there. It's raining now and I'm going to try not to get this camera wet. But um, we'll have more on the post and we'll talk to you guys.